Dear Diary, it's now Sunday, and it's uh, 8.41 a.m., and I'm going to be honest, I don't think I've had a very good sleep, and um, what's more important is that I don't think I might be able to no rest or sleep. You know, later on, like, nothing has even happened today, aside from, well, developing a little bit of addiction towards, uh, WarioWare. Yeah, it's basically the very first WarioWare game on the Game Boy Advance, and it isn't by the way, my first year ever playing that, but it's honestly my late year of playing that after a long time. In fact, most of the Mario games that I have ever discovered in my life was due to a uh, pretty little to zero uh, connection to those games. You know. It was from a collection on an Egyptian website. And um, I'm gonna admit, like, I'm gonna really admit, they did work out pretty well. They did work out pretty well, um, making me a bit uh, prepared and set up to what it would be later on known as regular retro emulation. Really. And, um, it was wrong. <sighs> and probably some of you would ask, why didn't you sleep? It's because I have been busy giving myself any kind of stupid daydreams that would make me, well, be busy thinking about it or something else. Instead of thinking about that time. <sighs> but it didn't work and it resulted in me waking up at 6 or earlier. Yeah, 6 a.m. And um, I'm, st I'm quite shaking up a little bit. And right now it's um, 11 degrees outside. And, uh, I can already feel the goddamn weather. Now, some of you would ask, how are you feeling the cold when you are inside your house? Well, we live next to a desert. Well, an area that used to be only a desert. But then, uh, nowadays there are... Mm, turning it into some kind of a, basically an area with lots of tons of houses and whatsoever and business houses related stuff and it's been being built on for like years but even though we live next to a desert somehow a ridiculously very cold weather is coming on to us it's like we're somehow a bit close to a to a sea or some shit. And I'm not even in the areas that actually have the sea in front of any house or some shit. Like, holy damn. Like, why? And not to mention, well, how I am still feeling. Like, it's almost as it's impossible to move on without, a, without something that would make me completely forget. Sometimes it would be memes, it would be a game, it would be a song, it would be anything that would at least keep me going in life, you know. <sighs> there might and today I have discovered something that I probably 
probably didn't want to bother with it, but I'm just going to bother with it anyways, because fuck it. There's no better way to waste your internet than downloading and uploading some bitch edits of, of a pretty dumbass game. Yeah, especially of a game that has some goddamn bitch, bitches wrong. Yes, I'm talking about that new Geo Pocket Color game, which Axel Hunter has suggested to me today. Or I don't know what the hell is at the time zone was y'all. But, um, yeah. This is how it is. Not to mention, of course, that there used to be, well, I don't know. But, um, in the meantime, it's still early in the morning, and I honestly just want to sleep. But, legit, just sometimes I just want to, you know, just want to do it, even if it's too early. And hopefully, by tonight, or by this afternoon or something, that the day would be good, and I don't have to witness more bullshit. And some of that. And hopefully I would even be able to play a little bit of a warrior or snatcher because I haven't been able to play anything yesterday since too. Again, bullshit from my young brother with his with the parents and the parents themselves are making bullshit along with the other brother. Total chaos if you ask me. Total fucking chaos. And um honestly I don't even know how long am I supposed to keep up with that. In fact, I don't even know what am I supposed to even do to prevent that. Aside from telling them. But then, even telling them wouldn't work. So why the hell should I even bother? Like, why am I supposed to confront some dumbass people who really don't want to change? In fact, Sometimes it's just the best to not confront. Sometimes. And what happened to me two weeks ago was part of that sometimes situation where none of them did even have to bother to confront me. Or even, like, I don't know. At least make a stupid dumbass action from like a long time. But then again, we live in a society. Jesus Christ, I'm shivering so hard. As if literally the goddamn weather was enough. And literally, it's like I'm getting worse instead of better. But, I mean, what can you do? I'm literally suffering. But then again, who the hell would even be here? No one. But I honestly wish that someone was there. Really. I sometimes wish that someone was there. Well, I guess I did have some people in the past that used to be there. And, um, I simply pushed them away. <sighs> oh, well. Depression is really fucking good. Lol. And, um, Honestly, I just want to go back into being a stupid, dumbass child who cares about nothing but video games. <laughs> really. Video games and video game music related, and that's it. That was literally all me. But, of course, 
even if there were one that's real, it won't ever be shared worldwide. Because, you know, people would just love to keep their inventions straight. And what sort of... I just really wish that I have known about all of that earlier. Before even ditching the shit out of the people that I have ditched. And I'm gonna be real. Yeah. All of that. Did. I kind of had it coming to me. Especially. Thanks to the fact that I have. Most of those people without them knowing. They probably might be hating me right now. And, um. I can honestly understand now why. They probably think I'm a walking contradiction. They'll probably hope for me to have the karma back at me for ditching them. And the wish was granted. Karma really hit me hard. And um, here I am. Begging to literally come back to them. In fact, I'm literally begging for almost anything to even fix that shit. Or something like that. We live in a society. We live in a timeline. A timeline where everything is just not right. And was never meant to be right. But, um. I guess it is how it's gonna be is. And, um, the least that I can do is just literally stick into my corner and, um, not try to bother. Because for one to stick in his corner is legit the best way to go at it. Because... Honestly, if I went out uh, out of my corner or my circle again, I don't even know, and I don't want to even expect the fucking obvious of what's gonna happen to me. Like, I would be all, I would be losing everything more than I've already lost. Just like uh, Big Boss and Mel Gear Solid 5 once said, Why are we still here? Just to suffer. The comrades that I've lost, the bodies that I've lost. And he was so true about it. I've literally lost my old body. I've lost my friends. I've lost my fucking brain. And my joyful self. I've lost my childish and gamer self. I've lost it all. And I have already lost a lot of, a lot of girls back in real life that would have been potentially my goddamn girlfriend. Especially the one from second year middle school. She was the one that would have changed everything. But, um, well, why should I even bother remembering that when I literally cannot do anything about it? Like, there's no time machine, there isn't any of that. But man, now she was feeling blessed during those school times. Way more blessed than I already feel in college nowadays. Well, 
hopefully today goes well. And I mean hopefully. It just doesn't crash 15 fucking degrees at me when I'm not expecting it. <sighs> I'm gonna see you all later.